butter. So you're gonna cream your butter and sugar together. First you want... Um, Take it and you slide it right between the tires. for another segment of In the Kitchen with Little Mama. Today we are making gingerbread cookies. And this is a good cookie to make while the kids are out of school. It's It screams Christmas time and just it's easy and fun to make. You can even make it an icing, which I'll give you um, the recipe down below um, to make the icing for um, the little, if you wanna make designs or you wanna cut them out and make a little gingerbread man and it's a little fun activity. Anyway, let's get started. Um, you're gonna need um, three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter, stick and a half. Why don't they say that? They never say stick and a half. It's a stick and a half of unsalted butter softened. So everything that we're talking about needs to be room temperature, okay? Makes stuff a whole lot easier. Um, a half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of molasses. I like, don't use the, uh, the, the black strap molasses. Use the regular molasses. I use grandma's, okay? I'm, I'm not getting paid for this, but I use grandma's. Um, one egg, two and a half cups of self-rising flour. If you're gonna use all-purpose flour, I'll give you the recipe for that down below. Um, and one teaspoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of ginger, remember these are gingerbread cookies, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Um, you're also gonna need um, some regular sugar to roll the dough balls in, because we're gonna make balls, and then we're gonna roll them in the sugar, and then we're gonna bake them. You're gonna set your oven, you're gonna start by setting your oven at 350. And then you're gonna get your butter and your sugar together and you're gonna put it in your mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's fine. Um, just, you're gonna use your hand mixer and you're gonna make sure that when you um, get it together, your butter and sugar needs to be fluffy. So you're gonna mix your butter and sugar together first, okay? your butter and sugar to be fluffy. So while that's doing that, um, I'm gonna check on the cookies I have in the oven. Not yet? Yeah. Okay, they're done. They are done. They smell amazing. And we're gonna break one open and try it. See, it's nice and soft. This is good. Have some. Thanks for tuning in to In the Kitchen with Little Mama. That's all we have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed these wonderful gingerbread cookies. Remember, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind to somebody. Find somebody, be kind to them. Y'all have a good day. See you later.